as you log into your class, um, you're going to come here to the course home. And as you can see, now I'm doing this on Thursday the 2nd. Um, so, you know, nothing's open to you yet, obviously, because it's not the 6th, but I did it so I could go through and everything. But what, what you can see is that, you know, everything's available. And right here is kind of like your calendar. In this next box, you've got what to work on next. So if you're missing assignments, it's because you're probably not logging in and really paying attention. So you've got what to work on next, your next due date. I mean, here's your due dates for your assignments clearly posted. So, you know, you have many, many ways uh, to pace yourself and know what's going on. On this calendar, you can see here if I go to February 15th, that's when the pretest is due. I can click on through. The 25th, that's when all your homework assignments for exam one are due. 27th exam one review and exam one or do uh, so you know that's one way you can keep up with your work and know what's coming up and there's many other ways as you'll see as I scroll through here make sure you run your browser check because that'll tell you if you need any sort of downloads or plugins or anything like that um, also you know, if you are using Internet Explorer, I would uh, change to either Mozilla Firefox or I think Google Chrome is fine. Uh, Explorer has issues with some of the uh, things that my math lab runs. Uh, so, so make sure you're using the appropriate browser. Uh, you've got your how to enter answers, uh, which, you know, you may not want to take the time, but sometimes 10 or 15 minutes of prep. Uh, makes up for two hours of frustration. So, you know, I highly recommend you do that. Um, over here is your submissive pro progress and your overall score. Okay, I grade things on what you've completed. So your grade will be based on what you've done. So if you do one assignment the whole semester, you might have 100 until I change everything. So, so it's based on what you've done. All right, so here is the uh, next tab, and these are all tabs here, are your announcements. Uh, there are no active announcements. I may post some, I may not. Most of the time, if I want to uh, send something out, it'll be a YouTube video like these, and I will send them out via email. Uh, so please, check your email. Um, uh, you know, once every week at, at least, and make sure your email is one you use that you check. Uh, start here. You've already been there, hopefully, because you're watching my videos. Uh, the instructor information, um, that is me. Kind of an old picture, but, you know, I don't feel like taking another picture. Uh, it gives you my office information, uh, where I'm located, Lexington at the Leestown campus, my office hours, my email, my phone. And I explained to you that during the week I will have a 24 to 48 hour response time. Uh, weekends, you know, they're weekends. So I usually don't work on weekends. Sometimes I'll check them. Um, but, you know, be real about it. Uh, if you are waiting till the last minute to do something and you email me at 9 or 10 o'clock on Thursday night, panicking, uh, odds are I'm not going to reply to you till Friday. So, you know, don't uh, expect me uh, to respond within an hour. Because I, I tell you, it's 24 to 48, so you got to at least give me that. Okay, that's only fair. I wouldn't do that to you, uh, so try not to do that to me. Uh, so my office hours, you know, if you uh, are local or close to local and you need some help, come by my office during these times on Monday, Wednesday, and uh, just drop in and, and I'll give you help. You don't need to set an appointment. Um, just drop in and give me help. Uh, here's the syllabus. Now, you already do have a copy of that. But it's here, and it kind of goes through a lot of the things I'm talking about. You got your course description, uh, the class structure, your calculator. The book is the ninth edition. It's an ebook, so you don't really need to buy it um, unless you want it. You know, you need to be logging in at least once a week just to keep up with your work. Um, so, you know, here are all my policies on homework, late work, makeup work. You know, if you miss a due date, I will allow you one extension. 
um, you need to contact me, but if you miss more than one exam, uh, then you'll get a zero, unless there's something that went on that, uh, you know, from the uh, my math lab site. All right, so here's about the exams. Um, you know, just read through these things. You know, exams are time, so don't click on till you're ready to take it. You can't come back three hours later and take it. It's going to be clock time. Uh, final exam is comprehensive. Here's the important stuff about the final. Must be proctored. There's information about that. Uh, final exam, 20% of your grade and you have to pass the final in order to be eligible to pass the class and then there's more information about the pretest so take it after you watch this video and here is my breakdown of you know how your grade will be determined drop information and complete college policies you can click on that about accommodations withdrawal procedure anything like that and then here again is the course outline so you know this is when things are due. So print it, print it off and make sure you refer to it often. All right, uh, video lectures. What I've done is, you know, I've kind of videotaped my lectures that I do for my on-campus classes so they can watch videos. So if you need a little extra help with something, you can click on uh, these videos as well. They are YouTube videos, so there shouldn't be a problem opening them up. And you'll see here you know I've got videos on just about everything we do uh, most of them are less than 30 minutes some of them are right at 30 minutes so and you can always you know fast forward to what you think you may need help with okay so there are videos you know if you need extra help with anything um, next topic is your graded homework so here you go Right here again, you got another area where due dates are posted. So, I mean, you know, if you don't know when things are due, you're not paying attention. Um, but you see these little green arrows means you must do the pretest before you can start the assignment. So, the pretest must be done. All right, the uh, test folder here are your tests. And again, don't click on a test till you're ready to take it. Because once you click on and say, I'm ready to start, it's the, the time starts. So your tests are due by 11.59 p.m. on the night. That's Eastern Standard Time. So I give you two hours. So if you want the full two hours, then you need to start it no later than 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, p.m. Um, your grade book will have nothing in it yet, but that's where you can go to see how your grades are doing. A uh, study plan, that's just if you choose, if you want to do extra practice that I've given you down here below, you can certainly do it in the study plan. So you can choose, you know, show all chapters, and then you can find the uh, section numbers that I've assigned for extra practice, and you can certainly work them in here. It's not graded. You don't have to, to do anything in here if you choose not to. You can even do the extra practice out of the ebook. And then you can check your answers in the back of the ebook. So, uh, you know, that's right here. So you can certainly, you know, go to chapter one, section 1 1.1. And there are other videos that I have not created that are associated with the book that you can watch. And there's, uh, there's you know, PowerPoints. There's all kinds of stuff that are associated with it. But if you want to go to the ebook, <laughs> you know it's it's your book and it always takes a while to load up um, dead air so here you go 1.1 and again if you want to do the practice exercises that I've talked about you know you can click on through or if you know the page number you can go right to the page number right up here um, and you can certainly work those extra practice exercises right here and then you can go back here to the answers and look up section 1.1 And you can see the answers are here and on the page before. So, you know, 
there's several different ways that you can get plenty of practice. All right. So I go back to the main menu, and here's the extra practice I was talking about. You know, I've just created a little document here that has extra practice problems. Most of them are odds. The majority of them are odds. And again, you can do a study plan or do writing a book. Okay. So, you know, I try to give you as much practice as possible. All right, the uh, tools for success, you can kind of read through that if you want. You know, there's graphing calculator help if you have one of those. The multimedia library, now this is outside of the videos I've created, but as you can see, you know, there are videos, there are PowerPoints, there's animation, there's even video lectures for certain sections, chapter test prep videos. Although, you know, we don't do every single topic from every single chapter, so that may be a waste of your time, but you can certainly pick whatever chapter, whatever section you want, and then see what's available. Select all, find now, and then it tells you what all is available. Okay, so if you are working on a problem, you can watch a video for a certain problem. Okay, uh, Pearson Tutor, they have tutoring. We also do at BCTC, and your local campus has it as well. So this might cost you money. Um, discussion board, what I have in my discussion are what I call helpful hints. So again, if you're stuck on a topic, you know, 1.1, you know, I'll give you my helpful hints. Um, your course tools, there's your email. If you need to email me, um, you can certainly do that. Uh, these are hidden from you, so you won't see all these items. But you can certainly do that for email. And I'm going to show you another way that you can email me as you're working on your homework. Um, let's see, grading policy. So yeah, this is kind of how I calculate your grade. So if you want to see how that's done, you can certainly you know, go through and see that. And here's the information about your proctored final exam. There's links to the BCTC Proctoring Center. If you're not a BCTC student, there's links to other campuses. So you can either get the information you need, a phone number, email, or how they, you know, uh, go about their proctoring. Um, and just read through this stuff. Okay, it's all pretty self-explanatory. And then lastly, you know, here is the information about dropping the class. So if you do need to drop the class, you know, refer to this page right here. Now, one thing I want to talk about is the uh, graded homework. So you see when you click into any homework, you're going to have the questions. Now, these are instructor-generated questions, but most boxes have question a question help in here so you can ask my instructor um, since this is more of just I created it there's not the uh, other help features but if you get stuck on a problem click this box and oftentimes there's a show me an example on how to do this there's help me solve this plus the ask my instructor but the ask my instructor will automatically go to my email and you can type in what you're having trouble with with the specific problem okay so that's kinda that and always make sure you know if you answer a question save it and you can check your answer to make sure you're right okay um, now you can come back if I want to get out of here and yeah I can leave the page then I can always come back because I allow you to do that okay even though it may show here that it's zero for one. You know, I, I got it right. I've saved it. Okay. All right. So that's pretty much it. Um, again, you know, do your own work. That that's my best advice to you. And prepare yourself for that final by practicing as much as possible without looking back at your notes. Try to do as much from memory as possible and just keep up a good pace. So I wish everybody good luck. I want everybody to uh, earn credit for this course. I'm not the kind of person that li likes to fail people. I believe my final exam uh, is extremely reasonable. I do not put the most difficult problems on it that I can find. I am basically testing your knowledge to see that you've learned what we've gone over. And if you take the practice final, 
you know, the final comes from the same pool of questions. So it's going to be very similar. My reviews are all set up that way. So I give you two days before each test is due to practice for each exam. So take advantage of that. So good luck and look forward to hearing from you.